about uh, 10, 12 years back, uh, we founded the Center for Unified Biometrics and Sensors, and that itself grew from our expertise in pattern recognition. Because after all, when we talk about recognizing people based on patterns, whether it's the iris pattern or the face pattern, we are looking at images and patterns within these images. Uh, so it calls for pattern recognition technology. Before that, we were looking at patterns uh, on document images. We were looking for patterns of different alphabet characters and recognizing different words and names of cities and addresses. So we essentially took that same technology of matching patterns you know, into the world of identifying people. For the last decade or so, we have been looking at various projects in fingerprint recognition, face recognition, various aspects of these because it essentially impacts on people's privacy, it impacts on the security of systems and so on. So, so there are many other social and ethical issues, implications as well. So uh, we worked for about a decade and then uh, we, uh, we have leadership uh, role in the community and that was recognized by our peers and they invited us to come and join this uh, consortium of universities uh, which looks into similar problems. So it was West Virginia University and then Clarkson University, University of Arizona. So they were all looking at different aspects of this identification of people. And uh, they came to us because we were doing some interesting things and they thought we would be complimentary and invited us to join the center. The consortium is really nice because it, it is an industry university research center. Uh, so it allows for a forum for um, industries and universities to participate together, I, I look into, you know, identify, you know, the challenging research problems in the area. And it also, there are industry partners, uh, like Department of Homeland Security is, is uh, a partner in this center. And uh, so we look at, you know, what issues the, the government has to grapple with, you know, what issues industry is looking at. So our students and are exposed now to all the things that are happening in the field and uh, you know they have a, a connection with the industry to find jobs